Hey guys, today we have a brand new Minimates review. Today we have the Marvel Minimates Infinity Toys R Us exclusive box set. Yeah. So, this is the Marvel Minimates fan choice poll for 2014. The storyline that Diamond decided on was Infinity. And there were six figures up to be voted to become part of the box set. Now, four of them were Spacesuit Captain America, Armored Hulk, Infinity Thanos, and Thane. The other two were Iron Man in his Guardians of the Galaxy uniform, the Space Armor, and Ronan, the Accuser. Now, for some odd reason, they decided to go ahead and make the other two, but they're available in a two-pack with Toys R Us Wave 19. So, why did we get a fan choice bo box set? I don't know, it's kind of weird, but I'm glad that we get all six figures. It's just a little strange that they did it like this, if they were going to make all six. I mean, why did we have to vote for the box set? Oh well, it's just a minor complaint. We're getting all of them, so I can't really complain how we're getting them. Anyway, the four we have today that were voted were Spacesuit Captain America, Armored Hulk, Thanos, and Thane. Now, when I voted, I voted for Iron Man, Thanos, and Ronan, and I also voted for, I think it was Hulk. Those four. So, yeah. <laughs> Box set, it's really nice. Um, a very dark purple Infinity Marvel. But the Toys R Us sticker is slapped right on the logo, so it's Infinry. And then you can see Minimates and Thanos on the very top. Four figures. And then Infinity, chosen by the fans. And the four figures, they're advertising Captain America's removal mask, and that Thane is an all-new character. So that's pretty cool. Let's get started. Infinity. While the Avengers were off-world battling the Builders, the Mad Titan Thanos launched an invasion of Earth, seeking his long-lost son, Thane. Thane was unaware of his father's identity, and lived in peace among the Inhumans until the Terrigen Mists activated his latent powers. Now Thane must fight for his life alongside Captain America, the Hulk, and the other returning Avengers to defeat Thanos. First up, we have Spacesuit Captain America. So here we have Captain America as he appeared in Infinity. And all it is, is his Marvel Now costume, but with space bits. So, I did not vote for Captain America. Mostly because I'm not a huge fan of the Marvel Now design, but I did like how the whole space harness design looked. So, I think it is a cool design. I mean, I didn't want him, but it's not bad. But there is one problem with the figure, which we will get to right now. Detail-wise, it's actually really good. You can see he has got this giant space suit on him, but still his American flag chest showing out. His harness is a new piece, which is very nice. This big breathalyzer thing on his back. His hands are a reuse of the Marvel Now Captain America. Both of them are. But the problem comes when we look at his arms. Now, they may look really cool, but they're a reuse of the Iron Man 3 Mark 42 arms, which means he can't move his arms at all, other than just swiveling. You can't make him go out at all, which sucks. So that's a big problem with the figure because he completely has hindered movement. So unless there's a way I can like chisel a little bit off of the arms to grant more movement, I mean, I don't know what I'm going to do. He's just very static. But other than that, I mean, he, he's finely detailed. It is the Marvel Now Captain America design. I don't have either of the Marvel Now Captain Americas, but it's just sort of more militaristic, more suity. Can't really show off much of his chest or his back because the harness is actually stuck to him, surprisingly enough. Like, there's no way you're getting this off. It's one solid piece on top of him. And then we get to the face. So it's... I think it's the exact same piece as the other Marvel Now Captain Americas. I'm pretty sure it is. Little metal rim around a mouth guard, I guess. You can see his face underneath, but we'll get to the face later. You can see 
bit more of the neck guard. I don't know, I like the de the detailing and I like the design. It's just, seriously, articulation wise, I mean, his legs can move perfectly fine. His head can kind of move up and down. They can swivel, but his arms, they just, they can't do anything. Because if you do anything, they'll just pop off. Or, and accessory wise, we've got the usual display stand, an extra hand, some strapping on it. Because with Captain America, you gotta have his classic shield. Captain America also comes with an alternate hairpiece, but his head is really hard to get the mask off, so we'll be right back. So here we have Captain America without the mask. I mean, it's just generic, angry sort of Captain America. I really don't know why the mask is so hard to get off. Um, I'm gonna guess because it's this giant neck bit behind. Possibly. If it is, well, that explains a lot. I'll probably keep Captain America with the mask on, but hey, you know, removable mask is always nice. Overall, spacesuit Captain America would be a fun figure, it's just I can't stand his arms. Next up we have Armored Hulk. So here we have Hulk in his Marvel Now armored look. Now, some of this may look a bit familiar, because there is a version of this Hulk from the Marvel Minimates Toys R Us Wave 16, but he just had his underwear on. And this Hulk is completely armored up, and this one isn't. But they are the same. Supposed to be the same thing. They're both Marvel now. It's just this one has a bunch of stuff on them. This one is just Hulk. So we're going to be looking at this one because I think it's actually a lot cooler. So detail-wise, I mean, he is Hulk, so he is very, very big. Something really cool is that he has fingerless gloves. Why? I don't know. Hulk also has this big hulking chest piece. See some harnesses, a lot of armor bits, shoulder pads, whole bunch of detailing, gauntlets. He's got the same belt and thigh pieces as the Marvel Toys R Us Wave 16. So, same thing. And he does have boots with some detailing. Don't know why these are just like sort of like flat ones. Why they aren't like super sculpted like the rest of the figure. It's kind of weird. But other than that, it's fairly cool. And then we get to the face. And it is just the Hulk. I mean, he's angry. So, and you can't really beat that. Something I do want to note about the figure though that I do not like. It, it comes from his crotch piece. And while it looks cool and all, and it makes him look really tall, it's just, you get this much of space to fit in this much of torso. So, what happens a lot with Hulk, and especially with Thanos too, is that they are so big, I mean, their crotch piece just falls right off their torso. So, I mean, what you could do is just take off the crotch piece, but then he'd be all stubby. I really think... DST should invest in, at least for big minimates, not for all minimates, elongated crotch pieces. It's just an idea. I know they had long crotch pieces back with the Halo stuff, with the Elites. So I think repurposing those pieces could help in the long run. Anyway, articulation-wise, Hulk can do some stuff, like, like I just said, he falls apart. And his legs can move... His head cannot move up and down at all. It's just a swivel. And accessory-wise, Hulk has nothing. Overall, while Armored Hulk looks cool, he just falls apart way too easily. Next up, we have the Mad Titan himself, Thanos. And holy crap, this guy is big. I mean, here he is compared to Thane. He's huge, just towers over him. And he's actually a little taller than Hulk, which is pretty crazy. But in the end, was that what they should have done with this figure? Maybe. Detail-wise, he's got this big shoulder piece. Because it is the modern look for Thanos. It's not the old Infinity Gauntlet style. 
See some circuit wiring, not as pecs, big belt piece, some more dots on the back. He does have shoulder pads, which has some detailing on it. A lot of gold and blue. See some knuckling, more wire bit, lighting. His fingers, both sides. He's got thigh pieces, which are huge. Leads into new boots. I mean, almost all of Thanos is completely new sculpting. Except for his shoulder and thigh pieces. And then we get to the face of Thanos. Now, my Thanos is incredibly hard to get the helmet off of. Um, so I have not taken it off. Um, I'm going to try to at one point using the hot water trick. But as it stands, I have not removed the mask, so he is stuck like this. But, I mean, you can see he's got this maniacal grin. Does have his eyes. Just, you know, you can't see him. So... Kind of a big disappointment. Another big disappointment with the figure is he's actually kind of fragile. Because, like I said with Hulk, he's got this little bit of crotch piece to connect him to his torso, which is huge. So, I mean, when you're just moving him around or playing with him, I mean, it's just going to pop off. So, hopefully we can get extended crotches for big bulky figures, because this guy, oh my god, this guy is so cool. It's just, I don't know, I don't like it how he falls apart. <laughs> anyway, articulation-wise, Thanos can do some stuff. So, oh well. I feel like Thanos is more of just an imposing figure that you're just supposed to stand. But, you know, I would like to have him move around. And what's even more disappointing is all he has is a display stand. That's a big issue with this box set. I mean, Captain America is the only figure with accessories. Overall, Thanos looks amazing. It's just he falls apart way too easily. Last up, we have Thane. So here we have Thane, the son of Thanos. And it's, it's a weird figure. I mean, I didn't know who this character was, to be honest, before I heard that they were going to do this box set, and the voting went up. Um, and from what I heard, I mean, Thane only appears for just a little bit in the actual book itself. So, is it a waste of a character slot? Maybe, if he's not actually that big of a player. I mean, maybe he's one of those things where it's like, oh, he'll be a big player in the Marvel Universe soon. But as it stands, I mean, this, this figure could have been somebody else. I mean, they could have put, like, Black Bolt in the, uh, pole, which would have been super cool. But instead we got Th Thane. I mean, oh well. Detail-wise, it's, it's fairly good. He's entirely vanilla except for his left hand. Which is pretty strange. He's very golden. <laughs> um, he's got these... It's, it's just a very strange design. Um, you can see he's got some sh boots, I want to say. I'm going to go ahead and guess it's just like armor. See some arm detailing. The belt. His hand. Just has, it has a little bit of detailing on it, which is nice. And then the actual face, which is... It looks like Thanos... He's got a little bit of arrows on his top. It's not bad. It's just I don't really know Thane at all. But I mean, it's not terrible. Articulation-wise, Thane can do everything. I mean, nothing is prohibited. And a display stand. Overall, Thane is a well-detailed mini-mate. I just don't know anything about the character. So, overall, that was the Marvel Minimates Toys R Us exclusive fan choice box set of Infinity. And, eh, you know, I like how it's structured. I like the whole idea of a fan poll. But when it comes down to being that every figure from the poll gets to be a figure, I question the integrity of doing a fan choice poll. Um...
but that that's a rant for another day. Figures, I like them. You know, I like the idea of spacesuit Captain America. It's just his arms are the Iron Man 3 Mark 42 arms, so he can't move at all. If he could have like free range of movement with his arms, he'd be he'd be a lot better. I like how Armored Hulk looks. I like the fingerless gloves. They're cool. Thane, while well, I don't know anything about the character, like I said, it's well detailed at least. Um, so I can't count him off for that. But Thanos. Thanos is really where the set shines. I mean, he is big, he is hulking, he's towering. It's just... His crotch piece is just a little too short for him. So, like that, and with Hulk. Those are the only real issues with those two figures. Other than that, though, Thanos looks amazing. I mean, he is, he's just big. <laughs> and will look great posed with anything. So, do I recommend the set? You know, I if you're a fan of these characters, or at least three of them, I don't know who's a fan of Thane, um, I would say go ahead and pick it up. You know, Thanos and Hulk are very nice figures and are well worth it. And if you can get past Captain America, being just the Marvel Now Captain America, and just the arms being complete horribleness, and you can get past Thane or you like Thane for some reason, I would say get this box set. I picked it up, and I don't regret it. So, that's just my two thoughts on it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. And did you like the video? Well then rate, comment, subscribe, and like, and I'll see you later.